You know, I love NPM Solver. Why? Because it can produce very cool simulation, including snow, dirt, liquid, and even concrete. You see that? And it's very cool and simplifies Solver, and it can interact with all this material. So that's why I love it, to be honest. So we had this Solver since Houdini 20.5. So they showed us this cool demo. Of course, it's very nice to have that, but as my friend Jose said, it felt unfinished. For example, we couldn't transfer this simulation to the original geometry, or it was so slow, even with the concrete. And have a similar issue like sleeping or interacting on collision, something like that. So in this version of Houdini 21, they fixed all that. Hi everyone, this is Dyson and welcome to my channel and who we are with another first look of Houdini 21 series and I hope you are enjoying this one honestly because after this we will do NPM secondary simulation they showed us in this keynote and yeah this is very interesting or maybe after that we're gonna take a look of pyro in cups, diffusion in cups, flow solver in cups yeah that's very impressing to be honest and maybe pyro operas using machine learning or maybe after that gaussian splatting yeah we have a lot to do or maybe rbd car destruction yeah <laughs> so if you're interested just hit the bell icon to get notified so before i begin let me thank these amazing people that support me and subscribe in our website to our premium course and premium content like HDA or Digital Asset. And thank you guys. You are making my journey very delightful to be honest. So without further ado, let's begin. So the first future we have in NPM Solver Houdin 21, it's auto sleep. What is that? For example, in NPM menu, we have NPM configure node. It will set up the necessary node for you. This is very time saving here. And as you can see, we have this scene and we have this sphere as a concrete or chunk or liquid. Yeah, and we have this collider as a VDB volume and we have this container. This is very simple setup. And if I play that, we have something like this simulation, you see? That's very cool. But instead of the colliding like that as a static, I wanna make this collider interact with our source. So I will delete this NPM collider and I will duplicate this NPM source and I will merge these together. I will give it a material, for example, snow, chunk, everything. And let me play. You see, they are playing in the same time, but I wanna make it uh, simulating this uh, object, the box object on the collision. So I will give it a color and I will enable this auto sleeping in NPM solver. You see, nothing happened because we need to do and control that in NPM source. You see, we have that in here as a passive and active. Passive means sleeping until something hitting and active is active, you see. We have that, this is very amazing. And we have an amazing setting here, uh, velocity threshold and sleep delay. You can control this effect by these two parameter, of course, you see? And this is very cool future we have in Houdini 21. And you can do something like that. You see this wolf, this wolf acting as a collider and the snow have auto sleeping. So. For example, let's create NPM Collider and let's create a sphere for that. And we can now animating this sphere. Let's assume that's the wolf we had and we are animating that as you can see. So now if I play that, you see every these two objects, the NPM source is sleeping until this collider hitting them. So you can control this auto sleeping with the collider too. You see, this is very amazing future. So with that, if you like this kind of video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content or share it if you want. I will be so grateful guys. 
So the another future we have is surface tension. So we have this simulation. This is as a liquid. I will uh, change that as a liquid. So as you can see, we have this surface tension, but let me play it without it. And as you can see, this is our simulation. Yeah, this is simple liquid simulation. And let me create this sticky on collider and let's crank this surface tension now, you see? Just we have sticky uh, simulation, but without any surface tension. Why? Let me, for example, uh, separate, uh, increase the resolution of container. You see nothing. Why we don't have any surface tension? We need to enable that in NPM solver in here. As you can see, you see we have point and grid method. What is that? If you want more accurate one, you can go with point based surface tension. And if you want fastest one, you can go with the grid uh, surface tension. As you can see, the point uh, method is more stabilized and more accurate, you see? And you can use it with this uh, water and droplet effect. So if I play that, this is our surface tension here. You see, it's very amazing and yeah. This is a next level and you can, of course, uh, increase your sub step and you will have something like that. You see, this is very cool and so necessary for liquid simulation in NPM solver. We had that in flip solver, but now we have it in NPM solver and they always recommend in the documentation, of course, to enable this level particle level uh, collision to have a cool and better result. You see something like that another cool feature we have is vdb from attribute for example i have this collider and we can uh, see it without sticky uh, attributes you see if i play that this is the simulation without sticky and this the simulation with the sticky but we can control that with attribute for example if i create attribute float attribute and name it sticky and if i uh, select this group in half of this box. I want to demonstrate this uh, for you guys. That's why I use this simple example. And as you can see, we have this sticky uh, attribute on it. And if I play that, you see, boom, we have this an amazing control with attribute. Yeah, this is my favorite. And this is the next level of NPM solver. Let's say we have this simulation. This is simple simulation with this velocity of sphere. And this is the uh, simple building I built with uh, some cube. And I, uh, I create this simulation with NPM solver and I catch that. This is the simple, you see, the simple destruction of building. Of course, this material, it's uh, for uh, concrete. Of course, chunky concrete. And I enable this deformation gradient. They recommend that to enable that for NPM fracture post and or NPM post fracture, sorry. So what is that? It will fracture your original geometry based on the simulation. You see, you can, uh, you can go with the Boolean and, or you can go with the Vorino. And as you can see, let's calculate and we have our pieces this is very efficient uh Vorno fracture based on your simulation not randomly or not very dense one so it will see the last frame of your simulation and it will detect what will be fracture the most part and as you can see this is the setting you can tweak it to have more pieces and after that we have npm post deform something like that it will take the simulation and it will take this fracture geometry and voila you see this is the original geometry driven by npm solver you see that's very cool in rbd we first uh, go with the fracture and then simulate but this it will simulate the NPM solver underneath and after that it will fracture your geometry and this is very cool approach to be honest and of course in NPM deform pieces you have three mode for example this deformation for jelly stuff and this uh, you can compute 
the velocity of course for motion blur and you can fill the gaps you see using that and this is very cool one we have it and jose my bro we have it this is our solution to transfer our simulation to original geometry and of course you can transfer your attribute too this is very common thing and let me show you the example they have in the preset of npm solver you see this is building i i catch that you see this is the destruction of the building that's very cool and if i go with deformation pieces you see this is very cool on the destruction point we have more pieces and this is so efficient you see this is very cool and let me show you in this part it's detecting where is the simulation hitting and it will fracture that wow <laughs> this is very cool to be honest and as you can see this is our result and you can uh, have that in npm preset so this is the npm solver first look in houdini 21 and if you're interested in our premium course in our website we will take this castle with dummy geometry and we're gonna fix that and we're gonna simulate that using different setting and we're gonna see npm solver in real action and we're gonna transfer these pieces and this issue we will have in real geometry and we're gonna fix that so if you're interesting i will see you there so with that see you in the next one peace out